Hi, I'm Azal from The Upcoming. It's so lovely to meet you both and lovely congratulations on a fantastic film. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs> Could you briefly tell us about the characters you play and why you chose to be part of the film? Um, I play Bert Troutman um, and he's, uh, yeah, on one hand he's a very um, uh, yeah, modest and polite man and on the other hand he's yeah, a very uh, fearless and ambitious uh, goalkeeper, sportsman. Overall he's a sportsman and a, and a gentleman he, and he's, uh, yeah, he was, uh, he's a former um, par Nazi paratrooper um, um, uh, um, and he becomes a prisoner of war in the UK. And then, uh, yeah, he ends up at, as uh, Manchester City's goalkeeper and becomes this football icon because he plays uh, uh, at the FA Cup final. The last, uh, uh, yeah, 20 minutes he plays with a broken neck. Yeah, pretty, pretty extraordinary dude. <laughs> um, pretty so extra. I play her. <laughs> That's Margaret. Um, and she is, well, I was going to say similar to Bert in the sense that she is fiery. She's a fiery lass um, with a kind of strong sense of self. Uh, and she has a pretty, pretty um, incredible journey as well in the sense that she's grown up in St. Helens, uh, has will have you know grown up through the Second World War and is a young woman by the end of it and has pretty, I suppose, like most people, hardened ideas about the Germans about um, yeah about foreigners and through this encounter has her kind of head and heart opened to to some you know someone else's humanity and through their encounter they have their destinies completely turned on their heads <laughs> and obviously you work quite closely together the whole time and had to deal with quite some harrowing sort of scenes how mm. did how did that work for you. It's, um, yeah, I think it, it, it's very, it's hard playing scenes that are, you know, that are emotional or that have, you know, a, a lot of intensity. Um, but I think even harder when there's a level of responsibility to that in the sense that they were people who really existed. These are stories about people who, you know, who existed and their families are still alive now and can watch this back. So it's um, there's a there's yeah there's a level of I suppose pressure, but also uh, responsibility to tell that story in the way that yeah in the way that it should be told. So it's 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 a challenge, but I think it's very rewarding to do stuff like this. Yeah. And how did you prepare for the role of your characters? Because obviously you did some beautiful dancing and um, you. and your accent and obviously some football. So. Yeah. So it was like really like two different jobs. <laughs> uh, on one hand, I had four months time to to become a goalkeeper I played football myself in my youth but I was never a goalkeeper so I had to have a lot of uh, goalkeeping training beforehand and uh, but yeah I got an amazing coach in Berlin uh, from from a football club there and uh, uh, it was a lot of fun you know the the, the shooting days where I just stood on the p pitch and I was a goalkeeper it was it was amazing and then on the other hand of course it was uh, I, I did a lot of reading uh, of, of his biography and what what he's been through because it's an amazing journey he's been through. You know, he was he, he was ten years old when he was uh, when when Hitler came to power, and then he was he went he was part of uh, um, the Hitler Youth, and he went through all this brainwashing and wanted to become a soldier, and then. He, 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 you know, he, when he entered the POW camp, he was still following Nazi ideology. And, uh, and then he learned about, slowly learned about democracy and, uh, and acceptance. And, 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 and he fell in love with the country and his education, he always says, began in England. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's fascinating doing things that are of a particular era because you get a real history lesson. So although I'd learnt about... World War Two or the Great Depression when I was at school I probably was less involved or engaged as a you know young insolent teenager in Scotland whereas when you get to play someone from that time you suddenly yeah it's like a, a wonderful history lesson so I read I'm a bit of a geek when it comes to prepping roles so I read a lot about um, about civilian life in Great Britain about what it would have been like for the everyday individual and you know considering that i think yeah, there were yeah 90% of great british population remained civilians throughout the war so that's getting to learn about what that would have been like in the day to day and then yeah absolutely you know accent work and and mm -hmm. and movement and dancing it was a really rich preparation and experience 
And what was your favourite moment on set? <coughs> oh, there were lots what of them. Your yeah. moment? <laughs> um, um, my favourite moment. I think there's a couple of them. I, my, I really like uh, uh, to think um, my last shooting day. <laughs> Sounds a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> but my, on my last shooting day, we did, for example, the scene when it's a very uh, short uh, a cl uh, a clip in the film when he's when it's very muddy. You know, it's it's been raining on the pitch and it, it's a game and it was like I could really, you know jump in the mud as a goalkeeper and it was one of those days where you just it was very physical it, it was a very physical part and it was one of those days where you know uh, all the all of the days where I just stood in goal were really a lot of fun mm. yeah I mean I remember that day because I came I'd finished my last day had been before but I came onto set that day yeah and it was very emotional I think it was just Everyone was sort of rolling around in the mud, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know, <laughs> smearing themselves exactly. in mud. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was a very, yeah, it was a really sort of strong sense of camaraderie at the end yeah. of that. So it was really, that was a special day. It feels like the end of term or something. Yeah, cool. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank and you so much. Lovely to meet you. Lovely.